What's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm here with my client Willie. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to take photos of your own listings. So here we are, we're in my client Willie's office and uh, he asked me to stop by because he has a camera here. He's got the lens, the perfect lens set up and then he also just bought this strobe and trigger attachment. He wants to know how to set these things up so they work automatically without issues so he can take photos of your own listings. So if you're a beginner or you're an agent, this is gonna help you out a lot. All right, Willie, so check it out. Um, with the camera on, usually I think you shoot in auto, but for this, we're gonna switch over to A. So that means uh, aperture priority. This is pretty much a manual automatic setting. So it's a little bit of a hybrid. On the back side here, you can see we're at an F8. That's kind of where we're going to want to be at for real estate. Um, if you go too low, then it's not everything is going to be in focus or too high. It's going to be too dark. So we'll leave it at F8 and you see uh, automatically when I change this, the shutter speed changes. So that's good. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Then another thing is the ISO. We won't have to change it. It's at 400. That's kind of where you're going to want to be. So you can, if you wanted to change it, you would hit FN on your camera here. And then as you hold it, you're gonna slide this and change it, but we'll leave it at 400. Okay. So as long as you leave it right there, F8, 400, that's good to go. Okay. You got your SD card in there and then you can see, we'll take a shot and that's how it comes out. So it's cool. Perfect. All right, now let's open up this thing. So just flick it on right here. Then we'll just throw it on on top right here. So as you guys can see, all we did was loosen this part right here. Slides right in there. And go ahead and turn it. And this is the Nikon attachment. Make sure you get the one that works for your camera. So cool, now we have that on. Um, let's open up the strobe light. So first things first here on this light, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're on uh, channel one and grade A. Okay. If you hit right here, you can see I toggle between A to E. We'll just leave it on E, it's just the easiest one. Okay. Uh, if you notice that it accidentally changed, you just hit that button and just keep pressing it until you get back to A. As long as A is here and you see A is here, is on, Got it. then we're good. And then also channel one right here. Um, I believe you would have to hold this button. Yeah, you see, and then you can toggle the channel. So if you notice that's changed to like channel six or something, you just hold that button and change it to channel one. So that's good. So to make sure these are working, you want to hold that for me. So, cool. so he's holding that. So if I hit this, you notice the light went off. Not very strong, but I'm gonna bump it all the way up. And yeah, you could see it for sure. All right, so what we wanna do here on channel A, so whatever I change here on channel A, it'll automatically go there. These speak to each other. So now you can see I have it off. I'm gonna hit mode and it changes it. So I changed it to TTL here, TTL. We're gonna use TTL for you. Okay. TTL means through the lens. So it's getting all the information from the lens, telling it to the camera, taking it up to here and sending it over there. Okay. So it's just automatic, so you don't have to do anything. If you hit it again, it's gonna change it to M, which is manual. So if you accidentally do that, just hit, keep hitting mode until you get to TTL. You can hit A again and it should close it out or hit OK, set. So that's gonna be where you wanna be. So if I hit the trigger button right here, you notice it takes a photo. Yeah. Okay. So looking, let's see, the before and then with lighting. Now what you're going to want to do is like we always do is point the, the light up at the ceiling mm -hmm. and then take the photo. So go ahead and point it up a little bit higher, a little bit higher, right about there. Take the photo here and that's what we get. Mm. If you find that it's too dark in any situation. This, this setup right here, automatic 
aperture priority through the lens should be good to go. You don't have to change anything now. You just have to turn it on, you'll be good. If you find that it's not giving you enough light, you can go to mode right here, hit the letter, hit mode, and you change it to however much power you want. One over one means full power. One over two means half power. And you keep going down and down. So if you notice, I do it at one over 32 and I flash it, it's not that much. Yeah. You can even hear it. What do you recommend for an interior of a house? Um, usually, depending on, on the color of the paint, the lighting in the room, a lot of situations, usually you're probably anywhere from about a quarter to half, roughly. Okay. But I think ideally, in your situation, like you said, you want to keep it automatic. And if you like things brighter, like you said, we can go up a little bit. So we'll do through the lens plus one stop over. So it's going to do it a little bit brighter. Okay. So if we leave it right there, it's again, you point it up at the ceiling, take the photo, you get a nice bright photo. Mm -hmm. Good. Looks good. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was a very quick, very short tutorial. Um, no production value shot in an iPhone, but these are the materials you're going to need as well as a nice lens on any camera body. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment and I'll help you guys out. Thanks for watching.